Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be smoking chuck steaks on my offset smoker. I've got two 20 ounce chuck steaks. The chuck steaks are 20 ounces each. I got these on sale for like $3.99 a pound or something like that. And I've never cooked chuck steaks before. From what I hear, they're probably the cheapest cut of beef and they can be um, not as tender as some of the other cuts, you know, because they have a lot of connective tissue and everything. But you can see they got all this connective tissue in them and I've, I've done some research on them and a lot of people say that they can come out tough. So we're gonna try to smoke them. I'm hoping that the smoker, if I do them, you know, slow, slow heat, or low heat for a slow amount of time that it'll help break down some of that fat and connective tissue and maybe like tender them up a little bit but this is the first time I've ever made them so we're gonna see how they turn out and I have some peppers and onions left over from when I did the chicken fajita video and I bought another bell pepper and I have some more onions so I might make a little bit more and I'll probably use one of these chuck steaks for steak fajitas We'll see how they turn out though. I'm gonna plan on using one of them and making like steak fajitas and then the other one, I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I might make some like beef stew or something. We'll just have to see how they turn out, whether they're tender or hard or not. I got half of a chimney of coals going just so I can get like a base layer of coals. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of apple wood and probably some hickory for the flavor. You wanna eat some steak tonight, bud? Mm -hmm. We gotta get it cooked first. I buy this apple wood at Home Depot. I'm gonna use it to get it started. And then I got these hickory logs. I just bought a new pack of them and these are a lot smaller pieces than last time which is good because last time they were like in huge chunks and I either split them myself or just try to burn a big one and it was pretty problematic to do a big log so I'm happy about those I'm just using salt and pepper on these like I used on the on the ribeye it's this all natural sea salt and it's the coarse version. They're really big flakes. And I got these pepper grinders. And that's it, that's all I'm putting on it. Actually, you know what, I changed my mind. Since I got two of them, I'm gonna use the salt and pepper on one and then I'm gonna use that smoky mesquite and the Everglades on the other one. And I can use that on the fajitas. I'll just see how they turn out with different flavors too. Got them baby, <clears throat> got them baby seasoned up. That's the salt and pepper, and that's the smoky mesquite and Everglades combo. I put a good amount of apple wood on to get her started and when that first batch of wood gets burned down to coals I'm gonna throw that hickory log on so it'll be like half and half and then when that hickory log burns out then I'll either use a little more apple or a little more hickory one or the other those those steaks are so thin I don't think they should take more than like an hour and a half to two hours to smoke so we'll see we'll play it by ear 
it's nice outside today it's about like 65 degrees out man it feels great when I'm on the smoker I gotta have me a Topa Chico I love these things The apple wood's pretty much burnt down into coal, so I put a hickory log on. I'm just going to keep alternating. So when that hickory's done, I'm going to do apple again. And then when that's done, I'll put another hickory log on. You got to let the, whenever you put a new log on in your firebox, you got to let it completely catch on fire and burn off all the thick smoke. Because if you don't and you close it, all that thick smoke will make your meat taste bitter. So you want to let it catch on fire completely. We're cruising, cruising about a tad below 300 degrees right now, and I just put a brand new log on, so when that starts to burn down, the temperature will lower, and, you know, it'll start cooking about 250, 275 as it burns down, or, you know, 275 down to 250. I want to keep the temperature in that range. I just put another hickory log on. That makes two rounds of apple and two rounds of hickory. These chuck steaks have been on for one hour. Man, they're starting to look good. All right, it's been another 30 minutes, so an hour and a half total. Okay, <clears throat> I went ahead and pulled them after an hour and a half. Like I said, I'm, I've never cooked these before, but I'm just going by a guesstimate right now. And in my opinion, it looks done to me. I'm going to let them babies rest for about 15 minutes, and then I'll cut one open and we'll check it out. These chuck steaks have rested for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna slice into them and see how they are. They're not gonna be like when you cook a regular steak and you sear it on hot coals on both sides and then the inside's pink. You know, I smoked this for like an hour and a half. The meat doesn't seem like it's too, too tough. Seems pretty tender to me. It's got a pretty decent smoke ring just for an hour and a half. It is a little chewy. <clears throat> I mean, I kind of knew this going in because chuck steaks are very, uh, they're like a cheap cut of, <clears throat> a cheap cut of beef, but it has excellent flavor. The smoke flavor with the hickory and the applewood. Mm. That piece was tough. It's got a lot of connective tissue.
I think what I'm gonna do is chop this up and then <clears throat> I can make fajitas with this one. And with that one, I can chop it up and make like a beef stew. And if it cooks down into like a crock pot, the meat will tender up even more. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it has really good flavor. That piece is kind of tender. It's almost like a mix, like in the middle of like a steak and a beef jerky. That, that piece is really good. I think, <clears throat> I think that piece over here just got that connective tissue in it. These corner pieces, <clears throat> they got smoked really good. They got a lot of flavor to them. That's excellent. That <clears throat> first one I just cut up was the Smoky Mesquite and the Everglades. And come to think of it, I was slicing it this way, but now that I look at it, the grain is kind of running this way, so I was slicing it the wrong way, which would act, will actually make it even tougher. So I'm gonna slice this one the other way against the grain. This is just the salt and pepper one. That's pretty good too. It makes it a little bit better, tender, when you slice it the right way. I just wasn't even thinking about it when I did the first one. Hey Coop, you want some steak, bud? He don't seem like he minds it too much. Thanks for watching.